Okay, this is another comfy UI tutorial to cover some basic concepts I use in my workflow and uh, today's topic is upscaling. There are many upscaling workflows out there but I use a simple one as I avoid installing too many custom nodes to keep things flexible and reduce the risk of uh, version conflicts when I update comfy UI and its custom nodes. I also don't upscale often since my PC has limited storage so I usually work with smaller images up to 2K resolution. That said, this uh, workflow can handle up to 4K if needed. Just a reminder that this is my personal setup and is not the best workflow and you should use this as a reference uh, and adjust it to fit your needs. Here's the basic flow of it. You start out with an initial image and you upscale it using an upscaler model. You go through a K sampler for low denoise sampling using a realistic checkpoint to finally get the final result. In this uh, demo itself, I start with an uh, image at 458 by 481 pixel, upscale it to 916 by 962 pixel using an upscaler model. Then I send it through an image to image with low denoise at the same resolution. And uh, at the end of this video, I also show an image being upscaled to uh, 1832 by 1920 pixels. Uh, for prerequisites wise, you need uh, Comfy UI and you can watch this video to learn how to install Comfy UI on a RTX 50 series GPU which is applicable for RTX 5050 to 5090 and the RTI variants. You will also need Comfy UI Manager so you can check out this video if you haven't installed it. Next, you need the Efficiency Notes, Custom Notes which uh, you can learn more about it from this video. Basically, uh, Efficiency Node is a compressed node bundle that uh, includes the checkpoint loader, the, the LoRa loader, dimension settings, case samplers and whatnot. The Efficiency Node helps me a lot because I find long workflows with uh, too many nodes very hard to understand and to follow because I'm generally stupid and uh, slow to understand elaborated things. So this simplifies the workflow and keeps things easier for me to manage. Uh, now let's begin the tutorial but before that I would appreciate a like, comment and subscribe to help push this video to the right community who might find it useful. First, search for Efficiency Loader from Efficiency Notes. Next is a K Sampler Efficient. Next is LoRa Loader. This is optional. If you are not using any LoRa's, you can just leave it connected without loading anything. Uh, in this example, I've added a detailer LoRa to enhance uh, fine details. I'm using it with a SD 1.5 model. Uh, so this is actually quite old, but the same concept can be applied for newer models, SDXL and whatnot. Uh, so in this case, I won't be recommending any specific LoRa's or checkpoints uh, for this case uh, because you can actually find better ones on uh, CV AI uh, anytime that you want depending on your use case. Then uh, next you search for the load upscale model and uh, this is your starting point for upscaling. I use a 4x ultra sharp uh, model and it's a beginner friendly and it works quite well. So to install it, you go to Comfy UI Manager, Model Manager, then search for upscale. You see a list of models available. Click to download the 4x ultra sharp and it will be placed in the correct folder automatically. Once it's downloaded, if it doesn't show up in the drop down, uh, you can just simply press R to refresh the model list in the browser and you should be able to see it appear after that. Next, uh, pull a line out and uh, select image upscale with model and it will be connected to this node. You can right click and search for this model by its name as well whichever works for you. Uh, next, you, you would put in a load image node and upload your image into it. Connect this to VAE encode so that you can sample it later. Connect the efficiency loader to the VAE encode and the K sample efficient accordingly. So uh, I have missed a step which is to connect the upscale image using model to upscale image by node. 
uh, this is the one that sets the scale of the upscale. Select upscale method to lens source, which is a good pick for starters. And for the scale value, I put it to 0 0.5, which uh, gives me a two times the original size. Uh, take note that one value of one will give you a four times the original size when I'm using this uh, 4x ultra sharp model. Other upscalers may use different values, so it's good to test and see how they behave. Uh, in this demo, I'll just keep to 0 0.5 to upscale up to two times. But at the end of this video, I will also go to value of one to show a uh, upscale of four times since as well. Uh, I put a preview note just to show the different results at different steps. Next, choose your checkpoint. You can download it as CV AI for whichever model that you want. This demo uses SD 1.5. As I mentioned earlier, that it is older and you might want to try some other better models out there such as SDXL and whatnot. Uh, this is uh, flexible. Just take note that uh, each model behaves differently and requires different sampling steps, CFG and uh, sampler and scheduler. So do read up on the model's uh, requirement and set it correctly before using. If not, you might be getting a bunch of poor quality results if you choose the wrong uh, sampling steps, uh, the sampler and the schedulers. So for this case, I choose this Redcraft realistic model for this demo and it also uses a big VAE as this model has a VAE being encoded inside the model itself, meaning that uh, I do not need to download a separate VAE. Now, it might be good if you type in some prompts to help guide the sampler to skew the image to what you want. Uh, you can be more elaborated to add more details, it's up to you. I like to keep things simple since I'm sampling at a low denoise, just that some models might not have certain elements that you need, which is where Laura will come in handy to help you with the sampling. For the steps, CFG, sampler name and scheduler, I set it based on the recommended value for the checkpoint. Connect this to a preview image node. Set a low denoise value of around 0.3 for a 30% change. And we are ready to go. This is the first upscale image using model without the sampling. Take note that I do not use image comparison custom nodes because I like to compare in an old fashioned way. Nor do I actually compare images very often in the first place. So I do not use such uh, custom nodes. Now let's look at the sample uh, 916 by 962 pixel image after going through uh, image to image. Next, I will show a demo uh, if I increase the denoise to 0 0.5 as compared to uh, the previous 0 0.3. So with 0 0.5, it will mean that we are going for a 50% change. With a simple prompt, this is the result. As you can see, the image changes drastically due to the denoise. I've tested even with elaborated prompts and the result will, skew, will still skew towards a different image. So try to keep your denoise low for upscaling as this is uh, quite a basic principle when it comes to upscaling. Now let's try a denoise of 0 0.1 and here's a comparison. It really depends on how much detail you would like to add in and how you wish to balance between having too much details versus uh, too much change. Now let's go for a 4x upscale. Set the scale to 1 and Q prompt. Of course, we have to note that due to the size, generation will be slow. Uh, this is currently uh, running at 2 seconds per iteration as compared to the previous 2x upscale, which is uh, 5 iteration per second. And this is the result, which is a 1832 by 1920 pixel image. You can treat this as a demo or a sample to try on your own later. 
Uh, to be honest, I'm not very good with uh, seeing realistic images or looking at details. So I can't really describe how good a realistic image is as I tend to concentrate more on composites and storytelling instead of uh, image perfection. So you can see the images for yourself and uh, do your own judgment on this. And that wraps up my basic Comfy UI tutorial on upscaling. This method uses uh, upscaler model followed by image to image sampling uh, run on my RTX 5070 Ti. There are other popular upscale uh, workflows like the Ultimate SD Upscale, which uh, uses tau sampling uh, during the sampling image to preserve the detail. Uh, personally, I don't like the results, so they don't really suit my, my, my needs. There's also Control Net Upscaling, which is uh, more suitable for people who want ultra high res images uh, with precise detail. Uh, I don't use that either since I don't work with very large images or need that level of control. Uh, if you're interested in those methods, feel free to search on YouTube the terms that I explained above, Ultimate SD Upscale and, uh, and uh, Control Net Upscaling. So uh, there are plenty of solid tutorials out there on YouTube and you can actually uh, treat the method that I'm using as a beginner-friendly starting point to get familiar with the basics. Uh, eventually, I will combine my Comfy UI workflow into a few streamlined setups and uh, share them on this channel. But for now, I am just archiving them separately to stay organized. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to help push this video to the right community who might find it useful. And uh, I'll see you when I see you.